What's up guys? Today, I'm in the windy city of Chicago with Kenny Gunderman. We're looking for computer programmers. We're looking for talented ones. We've carefully curated some programming questions. If you can solve them, you're gonna win a hundred bucks. We're looking for whiteboards. Whiteboards, you can go up against the wall, go all the way down. All right, thank you so much. Marcus. Pens and pencils. Okay, so you w will win a hundred bucks. I'm gonna give you a basic problem. You have some experience coding? Uh, yeah, a lot back, almost five years back. Five years. We're gonna have an array of values, and all you have to do is loop through the array, sum the values, and print the output. Ah, okay. I think if I can win hundred dollars by simple, then that's as much. <laughs> <laughs> is, he doing, is he doing good? He's doing good so far. Where do you work? Uh, I'm unemployed right now, but I have my interviews coming up with uh, Google and Amazon soon. That's cool. If you want to come to our Exchange, let me know. All right. This looks right to me. <laughs> All right. Can you... <laughs> so I, I think considering my 15 years of experience, this is a very simple problem, but looks hard to me because not coding in last more than five to six years. The problem was like, okay, there are like kind of, it's an array where you were given with like kind of a, just an integers you just need to find the sum of that array so i just initialize with two variables and as soon as the value comes in just keep adding it to one of the global variable which is outside of the loop as soon as the loop finishes up you just print the value so, all right thank you so much we didn't even know we were going to get one single person today that can code no. we're totally <laughs> winging this there you go 100 bucks it's really exciting coming to Chicago all the way from Seattle and winning $100. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> Am I just uh, assuming if people can code or not? Hey, do you want to try to uh, win $100? What do we have to do? You have to solve this coding problem. Do you know how to code? You don't? Oh, that's a shame. If you can solve this coding problem, you get 100 bucks. You guys look like coders, so... I only know Python. Perfect. Can you solve it? That's all you need for this problem, I'm telling you. All right, all right, you blew your shot. Where did you set up? You can just do it right here. You get 100 bucks. You wanna do it? Let's do it. Are you a student? Yeah, I go to UW in Okay. Washington. You study computer science or? I do electrical engineering. That's what's up. Do you take any coding classes then? I took one last quarter, so. Okay. Let's see what I remember. Yeah. You got 10 seconds. <laughs> Pressure. Yeah, he is onto it. There you go. I mean, he's got it. One last question. So, if the number isn't in the array, I want you to return negative one. That looks great, man. That's a hundred dollars. It's the easiest hundred dollars of your life. Thanks for coming. Thank you, dude. Honestly, it feels great giving away your money. Hello, does anyone code programming, computer programmers? That is, uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Do any of you happen to be prodigy computer programmers? Me? That's the question. Do you want me to explain it to you? A bit, yeah. So, uh, it's FizzBuzz. It takes in a number. If the number is divisible by three, you print Fizz. It's divisible by five, you print Buzz. Otherwise, you just print the number. If it's divisible by three and five, you print FizzBuzz. Yes, that's right. I explained it incorrectly. You want to try it? All right, All right man. Your computer science major? Yes, at U of I. I, I, have I think it looks no, great. No, I have this right so far, Yeah. but I just want to change the order of things. By five. I need to put that before if it's divisible by three or it's divisible by five. Don't put all. Just put if and then if again. You're going to break the rules if you give them too much help. No, I'm just kidding. You can say whatever you want. Right. So if it's three, then print five, uh, fizz. If it's also five, then make another if. Oh, Don't put an if. Okay, I get it. So if. Yeah, make another if. All right. This is the most precise code we've had all day. <laughs> this is very precise. 
All right, let's see it out. Let's see it out. <laughs> All right, let's see. That looks right. Uh, the only thing I'd like to ask you is uh, some test cases. So what would be printed if we were given the number five? If we were given the number five, it would print buzz. And what would be printed if we were given the number 15? Fizz buzz. And what about the number um, nine? No, that's three. Uh, two. It would print the number two. There you go, congratulations. You won the easiest hundred bucks of your life. Congratulations, dude. Anything you have to say? Uh, well, there's nothing I really gotta say. So if Professor, Professor Challen's watching this, then <laughs> congratulations, you did a good job teaching me. All right, overall, I would say this was a successful day, especially for some of these programmers wandering around the uh, tourist attractions of beautiful Chicago, it's windy Chicago. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And also thank you to Kenny Gunderman for hosting me in his uh, apartment and uh, coming with me to embarrass himself in front of the public of Chicago.